Hey, it's Nooch, and we are starting a new adventure tonight. Lego Legacy Heroes Unboxed. And this is Nooch's unboxing of the Unboxed Heroes. All right. We're going to jump in. We're already a little bit into it. Um, what we are seeing is this is similar to a lot of other games. And so we, we're in the middle of a battle here. What you're going to do is you're going to have characters that you're unlocking. They're going to have different attributes and strengths. You're going to use those strengths to battle opponents, to gain more characters, level characters up, and fight events, play events. Do So let's, let's just see what's going on. So we're already in the middle of this battle, and Magisto here, who is a kind of our little guide through the demo, uh, wants us to use an awesome ability, a, uh, ultimate ability. So that's a new thing. Nooch has not seen that in other games. An ultimate ability. Um, not sure where that came from at this point. But let's see, it's a giant Lego duck or chicken. Oh my goodness. Well, that wiped out their whole team. I, d I don't know where that ultimate ability came from. I guess he just gave it to us so that we could finish up that battle. All right, so here, when you win battles, you win loot. You can see we get two gems, 50 experience points, 200 uh, gold, and 20 scrolls. These are all things that you use to level up your characters and advance further in the game. So every time you fight a battle, that's what you do. So we finished our quest. Let's go claim some sweet loot. Oh, so here, we have daily quests. So we just finished leveling up one hero, which we did a minute ago. And we're going to collect that. We're going to collect, we completed two Glyph Hunt battles. That second one there with that ultimate ability was the second Glyph Hunt battle we completed. So we're going to collect that. And then we're going to collect all quests. We collect, and it looks like we're going to get enough of card. Yep, 10 out of 10 to unlock this spaceman here. Um, Brick Finder now unlocked. Right, max energy increase. So we, we just leveled up to level 2. So... Nooch imagines that this first day or two of playing, we're going to level up a lot of levels really quickly. So I'm not going to have you sit on while Nooch goes through like 20 levels, but we're going to show you the basics of the game up front. So we just got to level two. Looks like we got two shards of Cactus Girl, 20 more energy to spend, and two more gems. So you see at the top right now, we have 53 out of 42 max energy. So our maximum level energy right now is 42, and we have 53. Now, Nooch knows from playing other games, such as Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, for almost five years. Adieu. Anyway, that, that energy is going to slowly fill up throughout the day. Probably once every six minutes, so maybe you get ten an hour. So every four hours at this point, you need to go in and spend that energy, or it just sits there at 42 and you can't get, you can't, you just lose it. And eventually you build up more and more energy so that you can go a longer time in between of playing the game. Now we have 53 out of 42 because we got an extra 20. We already had 33. We got an extra 20 energy, so now we have 53. So we need to spend some energy in order to get us down below that 42 mark because if we're, we're above 42, we're not gaining energy while we're playing. Because when you're, when you're below your energy, maximum energy level, you're building up energy every second that goes by. So we need to get ourselves down. We also have 6,020 gold and 6 gems at this point. Now, we we got to collect some free energy. So we just collected another 40 free energy. So now we're up to 93 out of 42. So several times throughout the day, you're going to have an opportunity to click on that and collect free energy. And that'll be something as well. It's just kind of an extra little bonus a few times a day to get you to play more. So if you look at the bottom, now these are quests. These are daily quests. We're going to complete seven missions, one glyph hunt mission, level up one hero, equip one piece of gear, get one item from the shop, open one bag, and when we complete all of those, looks our next free energy is in 10 hours and 11 minutes. Um, Nooch might be asleep or possibly just rolling out of bed at that time. We'll see. When you collect all your quests, you get these rewards up at the top. You're going to get three red beard tiles. Tiles are called. I keep saying shard. Three red beard tiles. So red beard, according to Bricko, and again, we're going to give the link to Bricko. If you haven't been following him, you need to. And, and Nooch is going to put his link down at the bottom there because Bricko has given a list of the top ten free-to-play characters to collect. And Nooch is really going off of that. So the Hiker and Bricko are really important here early. And there's another one coming up, I think. And we'll see her here shortly. So, so once you complete all your daily quests every day, you get three of these of these red beard shards. And he is supposed to be one of the best units in the game. So 30 unlocks him. So after Nooch has played for 10 days and completed all his quests, he'll have red beard unlocked. Then you keep getting more tiles and you keep leveling up as you get, get enough tiles. So we're going to... We're gonna 
work on those daily achievements, daily logins. So we logged in today. We just did. So as we logged in, we collect rewards. The first reward for day one is 50 gems. So that's pretty nice. We'll take those 50 gems. Click on it. Thank you very much. Oh, collect rewards. Sorry. Now, we got to spend some energy. Energy's burning a hole in Nooch's pocket. Assemble. We got to spenzel. We got to assemble. Spenzel. We got to assemble. Spaceman Reed. Build me. Okay. We can level up all of our guys here to level three now because we're level three. So let's scroll through our characters using these right and left arrows. Right. Level up. Uh, um, what's I can't remember these guys' names. We level up chicken chicken suit guy, and we're already level two. Uh, do we not have enough scrolls to level max level to increase your pip town level to increase the max hero level? Okay, so we got to increase our pip town hero level. You've refounded pip town. Get tiles to upgrade. Play the campaign. Meet your agents. Okay, so we got two things in the shop. What's going on there? Free. Okay. Well, we're going to unlock some uh, bags here. Free, it looks like. So whenever you get a light on any of these buildings or anywhere in the game, you want to click on that because it's telling you something is available there that you might want to get. So on our first bag, let's go 500 gold. Two, I guess those are pieces of gear. A basic crab one bit. That's a piece of gear that will go on our characters. And one tile for the businessman. Okay. We got another free one. Let's unlock it. 7,500 gold. Well, that is certainly nice. And seven tiles for the fitness instructor. All right. Go to shop. Okay, so we're in the shop. You see you can buy more of these bundles for for gems. We are definitely not doing that at this point. We, News hasn't even played this game 20 minutes yet. So you can see you're going to get a bunch of hero tiles. You're, you're kind of gambling a little bit because you might get more, you might get less. Down here you can buy gems, not available yet. Uh, Nooch was told to buy the gear that's available. So we're going to buy this gear, the cheap stuff anyway. We're not going to spend on the 5200 gear. Looks like none of our characters need that hammer and nobody needs a dynamite yet. But we can use it later. It'll be available later for us to use. Okay, we need to go in the campaigns. Although look, we got four quests completed. Let's go in there and see what's up. We leveled up one hero, so we collect that. We get one item for the shop, and see we're collecting experience points and gems and gear with all of these com completed achievements or, or uh, daily activities. Sorry, uh, daily quests. Now we have achievements. So as you achieve different steps in the game you're going to get more rewards. And, and it looks like these rewards are going to give you Magisto tiles. So as you complete your achievements, you'll be building your way to Magisto. So daily rewards will get you Redbeard, and achievements will get you to Magisto. And I believe you want both those characters per the top 10 farming list I've seen. And for all the things I've seen, these are quality good characters. The other thing we're going to get here is 55 tiles of Princess Sargenta, another character you want. Pirates are the faction to go for from every piece of, of information I've heard because they get you more gold later and they're just a really good team for you to have as a beginner. Now we're still stocked up on energy. We got 93 energy and oh, we've done more quests. Have we done more quests? No, what was that? What was that four lit up for? We had a four lit up on quests. Maybe that's just a glitch. Looks like it's just a glitch. Let's get out of there. I don't know what that four is for. So we got campaigns lit up saying to go on campaigns. So here we go. We're going to go in here and we're going to battle. So it costs us five energy to battle. Once we complete the battle, I believe if we get a gold trophy, if we complete it with no losses, then we can repeat up just by paying energy and get the gear again. So let's go on this battle. Hold a minifigure during battle to learn about it. Okay, we'll do that. Spaceman, hiker, chicken suit guy, and... Can't remember that dude's name. So we got three skeletons, but we, we've seen already they're going to spawn more people as we go. So let's do a little AoE attack on everybody. The chicken suit guy's got his little tornado attack on everybody. And you, that way you can get around a taunt and um, deal damage to the entire other team instead of just the one that's taunting. We should take a little closer look at these specials. This allows... Uh, what, what's his name? Let's click on him here. Crook Chuck. Got to get that name now. This allows Crook Chuck... What does this ability do? Taunts for one turn and has a 25% chance to inflict attack down for one turn as well. So let's go for it. He's going to taunt and he may, he's got a 1 in 4 chance of inflicting attack down, which he did. So attack down is already clear because that guy took a turn. 
Well, we want to take that guy out because he's going to taunt again at some point, although he's really low on health. Um, not going to heal. I think we're okay on health. We want to start taking these guys out so we can complete this campaign mission with all of our guys and then get some gear. If you have a character within range of demolishing or deconstructing, you almost always want to take advantage of that and deconstruct them. Finish them off. Finish them as soon as you can. Don't get sneaky about it. Don't get tricky. Just finish them off because you're always better off doing that. Oh, what is, uh, what's her name? Princess Verda has max health up. So her max health is increased by 10% right now. We look at her blue. That's her, I can't remember what that's called. That's turn meter, but there's a name for it in this game, and I have to get used to that. She's at about 40%. You see her little blue circle, her little circle of 40% blue filled up? That means she's 40% of her way to taking another turn. We have all four of our characters are 100%, 90%, 90%, 85%, 60%. So all four of our characters are going to get to go before she, before Princess Verda goes again. So we're going to hit her even though she's got more max health because we should be able to take her out by the time we get, by the time we're going to take her out right here probably with the, the fried egg, flying fried egg. Now we've left nobody for the, uh, the poppy healer lady to heal. We're going to take her out and boom, slow motion chicken suit guy. <laughs> Like I mentioned, we'll put the sound on in the future when we're when we're kind of doing when we're commentating, waiting for the server to respond. Oh no, is Nukes lost signal? There we go. Success. We completed one point three. That's important to pay attention because you can see with the the numbers where you get gear for your your characters. Okay, we got four more tiles for Princess Argenta. And we want to get her, so we need to keep moving. Now. You can see those loop buttons are lit up now. Nooch can do this mission again for five energy. So let's let's try that. So we can do it again and get more scrolls, more experience, and more gold. We're not going to get those character tiles again. We're going to have to go play another mission fresh from the start. You're not going to keep getting character tiles over and over and over again in the same mission. You have to do new missions to get character tiles. Although maybe... As we move on, that'll be possible. Oh, we hit level three. Okay. So we've unlocked events. I can now increase my hero's max level to three. And I've increased my max energy. So every time you get up a level, you have higher max energy. I've also received one tile for Cactus Girl, 20 more energy, and two gems. Now we're at 103 energy. We need to move forward. Let's, let's do some quick battles here so that we can unlock Argenta and also use up some of our energy because we are a way over our energy and we're underspending our energy at this point. So let's let's go through this quickly. I don't think there's an auto button here yet for me because they really want you to learn the game as you're going through these early stages. So let's do our AoE. I wonder if I can speed up these animations too, but we'll we'll try that later. We'll see what we'll to look oh what's up here in settings? Let's let's check settings. Can we speed up the animations while we're in? No. The only thing we can do while we're in a battle is exit a mission. So we'd exit the battle or mission or turn the audio off. Which audio is on, but volume's turned down. I'm not going to say it again. All right. So we're not going to touch that right now. We're just going to try to go through these guys quickly. Yeah, we got a chance to finish off the hikers here, so we're going to do it. Oh, here they come. It's, uh, what's her name again? Oh, we got a taunt back there. I'm going to have to deal with that. Well, that's a nice little raining arrows from the sky. So we got a taunt from Headley the Headsman. We got Princess Verda raining arrows from the sky on everyone. That's an a AOE, attack on everybody. So when you have an attack on everybody, that's what we call an AOE. I think I said that already, but, you know, get used to that acronym because that is a very common, you're going to hear it over and over and over, AOE, AOE, AOE. Attack on everyone. There's four enemies left. We should be able to get through this. These early levels, they're going to, the game maker is going to make this pretty easy for us to achieve so we can get Princess uh, Verda, not Verda. Oh, I already forgot her name. Magenta? Unlocked? Let's kill our tank right there. We're not killing. We're disassembling. Got to get off the killing. We're disassembling. we got two enemies left now. Now, these guys rain this, uh, this AoE damage on everybody, so I kind of want to get rid of them. 
Do I have a heal left with my... Oh, we got some AoE ourselves. Hey, chicken suit guy with the tornado AoE. And we can finish them off here. Looks where we have one more cooldown. Okay, so you see to the right there where that special ability is not lit up, but it says one. So that means we have one more turn until we can use that special ability. And for our spaceman, it is deal 80% damage to target foe. If you get a critical hit, you inflict stun on them for one turn. And stun means they miss a turn. So after the next time that our spaceman Bob, spaceman Re, takes a turn, he'll be able to use that special again. So watch those cooldowns is what we're going to call those on your character. So we should be able to finish her off right here. Okay, there we go. We're going to get some gear. We're going to get some... Uh, player what are we called tiles we gotta get used to that tiles we got some gear oh look so there we got basic dynamite which is used by spaceman reed we got a shield here which is used by nobody a pretzel which is also used by spaceman reed so i don't uh, nooch has been told not to upgrade spaceman reed he's not on top 10 list but what we're gonna do is real quick we need to spend our energy but we're gonna yeah you can go buy resources if you want with your hard-earned money um we're going to go into our heroes, and okay, so you look at our heroes here. we got four heroes. See the little yellow dots next to all of them? That's their gear. So remember we got those two pieces of gear for Spaceman Reed? Click on this yellow, the basic pretzel. Now we can use the basic pretzel, but if you look to the bottom right, it unlocks at hero level four, and right now he's only level two, and since we are a level three, we can level them up to level three, but we don't, we aren't ready. We have to get to level four before we can start using any of this gear. So we can't gear anybody up yet until we get to level four and get our characters up to level four. But while we're in here, let's go ahead and upgrade everybody to level three. So level up to, wait, uh, so we spent five, not level five. Level up. So we're getting them up to level three. That'll make them a little bit more powerful. See, they're all getting... Plus 43 max health. Let's take it a little slower here if we can watch it. Watch watch over here in the black box. It's going to tell you all the additions you get. More health, more attack, more defense, and more awesomeness. Awesomeness is just a number that measures how awesome your, your, uh, your bricks are. Your characters? Characters, I guess. Right? All right. Oh, we can build it. We're level 3. We did some stuff we can build. What are we building? Event campaigns. Well, let's check this out. Raft, earn Raft Raiders tiles. Okay. But we don't have Raft Raider yet. So the Raft Raider... Oh. We get to play with pirates. We don't have pirates. So this is allowing us to play 11,976 awesomeness. I think that's well above what any of our characters are at this point. But they're letting us play with pirates so we can unlock the Raft Raider which I believe is a... Oh, I can't remember what it's called. But it gives special abilities to your... Oh, yeah, look. So these guys all have three and four health bars. They're way above our characters. So we're going to... We're not even going to look at these. We're just going to press these special abilities till we take everybody out because it should be pretty easy here. Looks like this bomb's going to drop on everybody, I'll bet. Nope, dropped on one character. Oh, let's see what that debuff is just for fun. Dodge down. So reduces dodge chance by 20. So that character has 20% less chance of dodging an attack. We're just going to keep pressing buttons and see what works here. Oh, 112 damage. Look at that. Who's oh, a shark? What's a shark going to do? New should be a little more careful here, but it certainly looks like uh, this battle is already decided because when your characters have three and four bars of health and the op opponents only have one, then you pretty much have them handled. You've got that done. There's not going to be any defending you. You're just going to wipe them out as quickly as possible, which is what just happened. Okay, the pirates that we don't have, just one. We are the pirates who don't do We got ten bricks, ten tiles for the Raft Raiders. A raft for any riffraff who are desperate to gang up and deal a little extra damage, okay? Ninjago team, okay, so that's it. In the back, it's the set arch. So I think that Raft Raider is a set. So the set gives bonuses to your characters while they're in a... We're not calling it a battle, while they're in a... Challenge? There was something it called it when I when I pressed the uh, settings button and it wanted us to withdraw. Well, that was uh, we're taking our time here. Okay, we get to uh, there's a story. The monoliths came, everything changed forever. Okay, so 
This is a neighborhood destroyed but fancy. So there again, the build on that unit is lit up at once. Let's go take a look. Building a set just like the good old days. Build set. So we are building drag and hold right to build. Okay, so let's drag and hold. And we're making it go across. I guess we can disassemble this later by going left on it. Lego system. Made in 1992, 81 pieces. Oh, it's kind of referencing actual actual Lego sets. That's nice. Unlocked boarding party. So with this builder's secret, pirates can call their allies to assist them. So pirates. Don't have pirates yet. But when we do, can we look at this? I guess we can. I can't even click on that. I'm trying to click on it. Huh. Okay. We'll come back to that later. Looks like we've completed two more quests down the bottom right. Complete one glyph hunt mission. Collect. And then we got an achievement. So we'll get another we'll get another uh, tile for Magisto. Collect. And 25,000. Whoa, look at that. 25,000 gold. That's nice. Oh, level up to four. So now we can level our hero, heroes up to four. And our max energy increased. And we got more energy. We're up to 118 out of 46 energy. That's not going to be normal, but this is what happens at the beginning of the game. There's all sorts of energy leveling up and giving you lots of chances to, to get stuff done. Okay. Ahoy, matey. You like pirate stuff. Use the codex tiles you've earned in the deep event to rank up the Raft Raiders set. This exp I think I already did that. Earned Raft Raiders tile. Oh, we could earn more tiles. Let's go in here and try and earn more tiles. Okay, so we can go into, not, not sure what this is called yet, but we're earning more tiles for the Raft Raiders. No, we're not. <laughs> okay, uh, hold the ability to learn more about it. Okay, so there we go. Wings of Fury, deal 40% damage to all foes and 40%. Okay, now you see, all of Nooch's guys have one, maybe two, maybe three health bars. All these guys have two or three health bars. We're going to play this out just so you guys see it, but this is going to be a loss. So here we go. Don't think Nooch used any energy for this, or maybe it maybe used five, so it shouldn't be that painful. Um, what's Chicken got going on there? He's dizzy, so he will not be able to counter, assist, or do bonus attacks, and he can't increase his pep. His pep will increase like it normally does, or maybe it doesn't. Let's watch that pep. It's that little circ black circle off to the left. With the little tiny blue pie piece in there. So let's see if that increases at all. I guess it has to, otherwise he never takes a turn. So it has to increase by natural, although it hasn't moved yet, has it? We're getting pasted so far. Look at our characters. Their pep isn't moving. Oh, and our uh, our tank guy just lost a bunch. Okay, yeah, so his pep filled up naturally. So he's going to take a turn. Let's see if that turn... No, that, you know, that, that debuff, Dizzy, had a 2 on it. Now it's got a nothing on it, so I guess if it's got two on it, it lasts two turns. If it's got nothing, it lasts, if this is it, when it one more turn and it expires. So we see our little pep bars filling up. That's uh, turn meter, so it used to be called turn meter, now it's pep. I guess we're going to taunt, but we're going down. This should be over in, in a minute here. Um... Early in the game, you, you'll will neutral have to learn where he can go, where he can't quite go yet, what he's got to upgrade to get different places. Um, we're about to lose some characters, but nothing we can do about it. That frying, flying, frying pan. Um, well, let's go after some guys with low bar health. Spaceman Reed. Our Spaceman Reed is worse than that Spaceman Reed. Oh, he's disassembled. Oh my, oh my. We'll get a little AoE action from our chicken suit guy, but it's not going to matter. Nooch said not trying to sound like a downer, but you know, we're just being realistic. This is what's going to happen. Fling! And Spaceman Reed. Start saying their names out loud so we can remember going forward. Spaceman Reed is disassembled, and somebody else is about to bite. Hiker is disassembled. Oh! Chicken suit guy dodged. So he's going to take a shot. He's going to... Injure the guy, but now he's about to be... Oh, he got frozen there, or made dizzy again. Two, see, he's got a two-turn dizzy on there. So, again, he can't gain extra turn meter. He can't counterattack and all that stuff. So, okay, we lost. So, that's one way to look at it. If you go in and you see that you're outclassed with lots of health bars and you can tell the characters are higher, you can just use that settings uh, toggle in the top right and withdraw from that battle. 
We can't, can we go back to this initial one? I can't go back to that initial one. So I'm stuck here and I can't win that. So I'm going to get out of here. So, so far we looked at our goal. We've got our gems, which you are spend. If you're going to wail on the game and, and just buy stuff quickly, you want to buy gems and go in the shop and you want to spend them on these bags. These bags will give you options. You can get 10 to 200 hero tiles. You're kind of taking the chance there. I can't click to even see. I don't even know what they are. Um, of each type so if you're looking to gamble on getting a bunch of tiles for your heroes you're looking to spend some money that's how you do it spend it on gems go in the shop buy the bags get it done so right now let's hope we completed three more quests is that right or is this just glitching again we got a little glitch there it's telling us we got quests when we don't so although we can go on quests so we need to complete three more missions, equip one piece of gear, and get our next free energy. No, and quit, complete seven, complete three more missions, and equip one piece of gear to complete our daily quests and get our red beard tiles and some gear and some coin. So we're gonna take care of that, and that'll wrap up this initial video just so you guys can see it. And Neutral, keep filling us in and filling in as we go. We're going to learn the game. We're going to be watching videos that are out there, like Bricko's great stuff. And Neutral will be filling you in as we go as well. For those of you who are kind of starting late with Nooch, or if you just want to go back and have fun watching a new play of the game you know so much about. So let's jump in and do some more of these campaigns here. Oh, we're going to get more tiles for... Oh, I can't remember her name. Got it. It's going to be tough to remember these names. That's like I said, that is learning the language, learning the names, learning what everything's called. That's always a challenge with a new game. Okay, we got a witch here. We've already faced off. Oh, we got, uh, so we, do we get that? We get Raffer. Whenever a pirate hero damages a foe, one random hero has a 10% chance to assist and deal 10% damage. Do we have a pirate hero? Is this guy a pirate? Crook Chuck is not a pirate. Nobody's a pirate here. If they are, they're not dressed like a pirate. I'm not going to go through each one of them, but I'm pretty sure nobody's a pirate. So we did our AOE. They're dealing some damage. We're gonna. We're definitely gonna. We're gonna heal up, and we're definitely gonna taunt now because our crook Chuck has three full health bars, and all their guys have one. So he really is a tank for this level, very early level of the game we're at. He is very tanky um, for what we're doing right now. So we're gonna. Here we go. We're gonna taunt, lift our weights. You can only hit me, crook Chuck. I say those names out loud. And not being real picky at this point, we should be able to finish this battle fairly easily. Get our tiles for Princess. Can't remember her name. We'll figure it out. I, so far, again, I'll say it again, and, and we'll leave the sound on for future events right now i'm playing this live so if the sound is on it's gonna it's gonna outweigh me but tell you what um princess argenta so we got enough now we're gonna be able to get her let's do this loot again just so we can see that again oh we got some gear that time so look we got this basic cherry which is used by the hiker let's try some more loot we got all this energy you might as well spend it right let's try some more loot Keep hitting that loop button. We're spending five energy every time, but we got way over our maximum energy, so we need to start spending. Oh, we got two pieces of gear that time. The basic flintlock, which nobody needs yet, and another cherry, which is the hiker. Okay. So I think we – are we at level four yet? Did Nooch not pay attention to those? Oh, there it is, level five. Nooch isn't paying attention at all. Okay, so let's go in. Oh, we can assemble Princess Argenta, and I this actually is a top ten free-to-play character to farm. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to get her opened. We're going to level her up to 5, which takes scrolls and coins. Now, look, oh, there we go. So the we have gear for her that we've collected, and that gear, now that she can use it, is green. It was yellow before when you couldn't use it. So so I guess you'll be able to see going forward as you look at your characters, your character list if you have gear on them that you can't use because they're not high enough level, you'll be able to see it in yellow. But if you can use it, it'll be that neon green, and you can go in and equip it. You want to be careful. Go watch Bricko's top 10 free-to-play characters to upgrade because he tells you, hey, 
don't upgrade useless characters because useless is a big word, but you know, lower usage characters because then you're just using gear on them that you could use on high usage characters. So save that gear for, for people you know that you want to upgrade. And in general, there's nothing wrong with holding on to gear for a little bit to see who you need it on later as you're learning what's going on with the game. But let's equip her gear. We're going to give her a basic dynamite, which is going to increase her attack by 15. So equip gear. Look, that's also used by Spaceman Reed. Now we have basic pretzel, which has, increases her attack by another 10 to 125 and increases her max health by 40. So we're going to equip that gear. Now we're to 125 and 480. And look, Spaceman Reed also uses that. Let's go through our other characters. We're going to level everybody up to 5. This is not costing us that much here at the beginning. Um, looks like Chicken Soup Man's got some gear, but Nooch isn't going to use that yet. Nooch is going to level these guys up because the coin and the scrolls are not costing much. But we're not going to gear people except we're going to gear up the Hiker because the Hiker is on that top 10 list of free-to-play characters. Thank you, Bricko. We're increasing his max health, so he's gaining max health. The good thing about that is, let's look at his, his special ability. Hold it down. He heals all heroes for 25% of his max health. Again, so we increase his max health, then he's going to heal other characters for, for more. So he increases, when he heals other characters, the amount of healing is based on his own max health. So the more we increase that, the more healing he does when you're in the game. We've completed some quests. We've equipped gear. We've completed seven missions. Now, we only completed one more, but I guess when we hit that energy and we run it again without actually playing it, we're completing missions that qualify for our daily quests. Now, we completed them all. We're going to collect our Redbeard tiles. So, three out of 30. So, I'll have Redbeard activated in 10 days of playing the game, which is awesome. And because, from by all accounts, he's one of the very best characters in the game. And by also by all accounts, pirates are very important early in the game because they help you get into the gold missions that will get you more gold to play the game. And gold, from what I hear, again, you've seen every bit of the game I've played so far. <laughs> from what I hear, gold is the biggest crunch early in the game for what you want to gather. Okay. Level 6. Look at that. We gained level 6 just by opening quests because we got experience points. We're up to level 6 on our heroes. More max energy. Challenge is now unlocked. So we're going to get more of these shards for Magisto because we have achievements. Alright. Looks like leveling up levels is achievements. Uh, sure. We'll rate you. Heck yeah. Ch -ch -ch. We're going to rate you a 5, baby. I'm not going to put any comments yet. I'm sure they'll ask me again because that's the great thing. Okay. Oh, we get to build a building. Well, we're going to keep going here for a little bit. We're not going to get all the energy spent like here. Ah, a place to challenge it each day. Earn a different wondrous reward. Okay, so it looks like these are daily challenges. Gear challenge, scroll challenge, coin challenge. Let's look at that coin challenge. Um, so yeah, you need you need at least three pirates to play that. Looks like Redbeard. Uh, I think that's Chef and mm, Argento Princess. Dang it, what's her name? Princess Argenta. Let's go ahead and level these guys up again, so we can make sure that when we go on these missions, we're, we're prepared for them. Again, not using my gear on these characters that. Experienced players have said are not the characters you want to do it on, so save that gear later for other characters. Get started with a two-star, go to the shop. Well, yeah, you got to spend three. If you want to spend three bucks, that's fine. Nooch isn't going to spend any money yet. we got to figure out what's going on with the game before we start spending money on it. Um, okay, let's go look at a challenge. After we do this, maybe we'll uh, we'll wrap it up and, and let you guys go about your business. But So we're going into this challenge. Looks like we're facing level one characters. I think we can do this challenge. Well, let's go back and look. What was this challenge? Free training. Okay. Let's go. So I don't see any leader abilities so far. So I guess instead of leader abilities, you have sets. And so where in other games um, that I've played very similar to this, characters there's a leader characters, and you put them in the leader slot, and they give everybody certain bonuses. But it looks like we're going to use sets 
instead of leaders to give our characters bonuses. And now we've got our, our uh, raft up here, right? Our raft raiders. We have a pirate now. Princess Argenta is a pirate. So she's going to have a 10% chance. She'll have a 10% chance when she damages a foe to, uh, to get somebody to assist and deal 10% damage. Not super exciting, but it's okay. All right, look, we should be able to finish this. We've got a bunch of guys at one health bar, and we've got all of our guys are at three plus now. So deal 75% damage to the target foe, 5% bonus damage for each debuff. Well, there's no debuffs to anybody yet, and deal 20% damage to all. So this is an AoE. It's going to deal damage to this foe and 20% damage to everybody else. Okay, now we got another AoE from our chicken suit guy. Look, we're doing more damage now that we're leveling up our characters. We don't need to heal anybody, so let's take out Arctic Explorer. I hear that she revives characters, so get her off the board fast. She's still there? What happened? Did, did Nooch miss something? It's too busy whispering at you guys. Okay, now they've got some full turn meters here, or what are we calling those? Um, oh... Glee or something? Fun? No, it's turn meter, whatever it is. And slow motion finish. Finish him. Chicken suit guy with the finish. Okay, so we're going to get some stuff out of this. Tier 1 completed of this daily challenge. Uh, what kind of reward? I didn't get any rewards. Do I have to finish the whole thing to get rewards? Well, guess what? <laughs> Next level. These guys are level 20 and multiple... Here, let's go. Nooch is going to show you. We're all level 6 and these guys are level 20. So let's see what that looks like going into a battle. Looks good so far. We'll only see our guys. And... Now we see certain death. Let's try it. We're just going to have some fun. Although, because those guys are high, higher levels, they're probably faster than ours. Um, looks like somebody's got some stealth over there. We're going to do some AoE. It's not even going to touch him. Yeah, look at those health bars. Not even, not even budging. We're going to exit out of this. Because our best character, uh, Princess Argenta, is already down to almost nothing. Yeah, we're going to exit out. Um, you guys are still watching, so I don't want to spend your time with that, which is nothing. All right. So we can only complete Tier 1. And I guess we have to complete all three Tiers... To, to get to get free training. I guess there's nothing in there. Learn new teammate abilities and synergies by battling. So that's just literally free training. There's nothing. You don't get anything out of that. So ability material challenge. These guys are higher level than us too, but they're all one star. We're going to try this one. And unless something else opens up, that's going to wrap it up for this, this first episode of LEGO Legacy Heroes Unboxed by Nooch. Okay, well, it looks kind of promising, so we might be able to do something here. So I'm not sure which person we want to take out first. I know that Lloyd, I, well, no, we got a healer. Or, yeah, we want to, really? She was a healer before. She's not a healer. Okay, I think we want to take out the magic guy first. Nooch is not being real careful about this. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go. Um, just kind of giving you guys the experience of playing. What you really want to do as you're playing the game is look at those abilities real carefully to see what characters do. We know what our characters do, but until we learn what the enemy is doing, or our foe, as the game is saying, a little nicer than enemy, then we won't know exactly what abilities to use on them, who to attack, who to try to get rid of first, etc. So... Um, we're not going to taunt because our guy is down to two health bars already. We just want to... Oh, my goodness, that was a big shot. Well, that hurt. Is he uh, dizzy now? Yeah, he's dizzy. And that's our healer. We wanna, can we take him out? Take him out. Oh, so close. Now he's gone. Hopefully they don't have a revive in there. Newt should look. Um, 90% damage. Deals 100%. is 40% dodge down. So don't see any revives. We're going to heal our guys. I think we're going to be able to do this. C percent damage, critical chance up. Basic so they all have basic attacks at this level. All right, let's get Kai out of here. 
we healed up. We still don't really need to t to uh, taunt at this point because our guys aren't in danger. Uh, we're getting a little bit low now, but this is going to hurt. That was nice. This is going to hurt. Yep. And you can see we're actually looking oak rainbow. Oh, that was a heal. A rainbow heal. Dodge. Come on, man. Come on, Kai. Take some damage. Take it like a Lego man. Oh. Okay, now here's where Nooch was talking about. If you have a chance to finish somebody, finish them. And Nooch's first thought was, well, it hurt. Her sword does a bunch more damage than that guy, but let's just take him out. Now, before we, because look, next to him is this, what's her name? Naya, who her turn meter is full. So is our chicken guy, but it's probably a toss up to who goes first. So let's get Kai out of the game. Okay. Now, chicken guy did go first. We're going to do an AOE. We want to get a heal with Hiker here. We want to get our health back up. Um, we're one turn away from the heal. You see that? There's the heal. We've got the one, so we won't have it till next turn. We do have somebody dizzy over there. He got his turn. He wiped it out. I want to focus on... So, critical chance up. So, he has a critical chance up, and his health is low. So, let's get this guy out as soon as we can. Nooch is going to taunt. Now, our guy... Crookchuck only has two bars out. Now he has less and looks like defense down. Reduces defense by 20% for two turns. Okay, so he's going to take bigger hits now. But we should be able to knock out. There we go, knocked out. And we can get a heal here. There we go, we got our heal with the hiker. We're looking good. Uh, by the way, when you hear this sound, that's like a Bob Dylan song. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get through this. Unless something crazy happens that Nooch wasn't aware of. Boom. And we should be able to get some, I think it's, it was gear. Was that what it was? But these daily challenges, you play them every day. You get gear. You get you get other upgrading abilities. You just get good stuff out of them that you need to play the game and advance through the game. Um, I need to learn where the tiles are located for these guys. There's going to be some tiles in the challenges. But there's going to be other tiles probably in different shops that you open up as you play the game. There's going to be a guild shop that will open up at some point, and I believe there's tiles in there, and you're going to join a guild. Uh, there's another shop, and I don't know what, what it is that's going to open up, and I think all of those give you different tiles for different different maybe different kinds of currency in the game or something. Oh, slow motion. Always seems to be Chicken Zoo guy that's finishing these things off in slow motion. Okay, so we completed a challenge. Success tier one completed. We got these three piece tier one ability elixir. Nobody on my team uses it, but that's three of them. So max loot and loot. Can we do this again? We did again. So I click loot and it looks like I can only do it twice. Okay, so you can complete a challenge twice and get more loot and you should complete it twice. Complete them as many times as you can to get all that gear. And can't use it right now, but it will add up later, so we can use it later. We completed a another achievement. So we're getting gems and scrolls and gold for this achievement. Yep. We're constantly lit up here. We got four heroes we can upgrade. Four or that four right now just means they've got gear. See the gear that's green, we can use that. Okay. That's all we're gonna do for today. Um Nooch just wanted to give you an intro to the game, and Nooch got an intro to the game. It is very similar to other games we've played, specifically a um, certain Star Wars game. We won't mention it anymore. Uh, Nooch retired from that after almost five years. It was a great run, and Nooch does love Star Wars. It's going to be okay. All right. Lego Legacy Heroes Unboxed. We're going to be playing this every day. We'll come back with a new video every couple of days to show you progress give you ideas, tips, and tricks. Definitely check out Bricko's videos because that guy is awesome. And this is Nooch. We will see you next time.